greetings greetings my people good evening i think you can hear me let me verify if the voice is coming through if my people can be able to hear me i have to check if the tune is coming through can you hear me if you can hear me just write yes we can hear you so let me see if everything is coming out fine so show me show me show me <laughs> can you hear me if you can hear me type yes but I will still control if I can hear myself Hear me testing, testing, testing. Can I hear myself testing, testing? Hello, 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 hello. Can I hear myself? Hello, hello, hello. It's like the sound is a little bit deep. So good day my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it depends where you are watching from. Oh, Austin Wanne, Anamekelegi, Ogadregenamma. So it's now clear, can you? Um, okay, Kekunumene, Adam, Odromanya, na Christmas, no Barrio Fuma. Agama say Nibo. Um, Merry Christmas. I will use uh, this little platform to greet my people. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year in advance. And don't forget that this year got to make one year. We need to celebrate this one year that we prayed together in this platform before Buhari went to coma and we let her ask god to forgive him maybe he will come back and change his character and attitude towards the people of biafra the eastern region people but he refused he came back all we see is spider dog crocodile agua ak and uh, all sorts of military oppression in a peaceful area of eastern region so what is my topic today my topic today is going to focus on emo state yes emo state because things are getting out of hand in emo state things are getting out of hand i i'm even asking the emo state people if there are still men alive in the state operating with their independent mind because the way things are moving i don't know what to say in the state we have capable people i can remember when hakim was the governor of the state pressures does come from left and right from a weary or low or part of Imo state they were pushing on hakim all right left but today our some man have started ruling Imo state all Imo state people went mute my question is what happened i am sorry if i use our some man because none the can who made me to understand that the man ruling the most state today is not an evil man and i have never seen a culture so-called a culture of emo state addressing his people in Igbo language before that's to tell you either he doesn't know how to speak Igbo 
Oh, he's not an Igbo man. One of this allegation, because the BK made me to understand, they said, in every allegation, cartons of allegation, there must surely be an atom of truth in those cartons of allegation. Either Rogers cannot speak Igbo as an Igbo man, or he is not an Igbo man being planted by the colonial master's agents, which is the Northerners, still claiming that Nigeria is their personal property. So, the great people, Imo State is on my focus today. And I would like to chip in a little thing before I continue this discussion. Anytime I start doing things on this platform, I do see a lot of questions. Are you IPOB family? Are you IPOB member? If you are not, you must go and be one. Uh, you must be part of us. Uh, my people, I am old enough to know what is good for me. And uh, nobody tells me that moto nabia, zere moto. So this world is a free world, you know. As you are fighting for your right, fighting for independence, you are fighting that is your fundamental human right to do what you are doing as far as you are not going against the law. I believe it is also my own personal opinion, best known to me, the reason why I am the way I am today. Please, <laughs> don't kill me. Take me the way you see me. That's me, you know. Um, so let's forge ahead. I am not against you. I can never be against you. <laughs> All of us are a true for like So let's continue. So what am I trying to say this evening is all about the Imo State people. Do you know that Imo State have now become the oil hub of Eastern region, of, of Ibu land, let's put it that way. Imo State today you are seeing is the hub, oil hub, gas and la largest gas reserve and oil reserve is being found in Uguta. And your governor, he's enjoying this wonderful money that he doesn't know how to spend it now he's building statues of all the corrupt politicians from all over africa wherever he banked the money he will call the leader and give him one statue in imo state but all of us, <laughs> unfortunately if they turn their back imo state people got to push it down it doesn't mean the money they don't chop them if you don't push them back or push them down on on asabi but what am I trying to say today is this. We have seen the Minister of Smile and Minister of Happiness and Minister of Joy first time established in Africa in that country called Nigeria and in the state of Imo State. That is what they call fam <laughs> politics of the family, for the family by the family and for the entire family. The special advisors of the governor of Imo State are his families. The, most of the executive officers appointees are his family. <laughs> and all Imo State keep quiet. They went mute. And the, the man they gave the largest position in Imo State is from Uguta. The particular area where the oil is coming from. And this man is the one that sponsored the in-law of the governor, current governor at the moment, to become the next governor of Imo State. It then means Okorocha dismantled the ancient traditional rulers of Imo. Now he wants to turn the Imo State government to become the another traditional ruler of as and one the son will take over. And everything will remain in the family, but we must rebook it. Such a thing should not should not happen in Imo State. Imo State is once one of the learned states in Nigeria, and I believe that those learned men are still alive. At least I may mention one, Tony Nadi, the great Lower Niger um, Secretary, well learned man, Barrister Emeka. Emeka Siri, 
well learned man from Imo State, great man, even though the the one we dashed to Yorubas in the in the in the, in the, in the West, the from Uguta too, the one that I also wanted to throw stone. What is his name again? The one that played uh, uh, Roger Miller. Be waiting that uh, be able to help me. Be able to smile. When I know who I mean. These people are the men that are capable. When you are talking about something in Nigeria, this man is one of the men that says, how can a child like Nam the Kano rise up to rule his elders, rule his uh, Nekaraka? That wonders are now happening in Imo State, I can't find them. All of them went mute. Does it mean that they are getting their salaries being delivered on their door that made them Look, the time I came to Imo State, when, when Mbakwe was still the governor of Imo State, I know that Imo State has landline number, landline code. Imo State has poster code. We have a senior brother, the owner of Santa Maria Commercial School. He's from Imo State. They call him Brother. Bernard Okebalama. This man, all the people from my side do receive their letter from his poster box by that time. I can't forget this poster box. P.O. Box 33 80. <laughs> this poster box helped a lot of people from my area. By that time, things were working. If you go to Ishueko Wehi, the field, the um, 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 hospitals there, maternity, everything is functioning perfectly. The government court. By that time, I was still in school. We do answer quiz. Our school took first in Imo State by that time. And I am among the people that answer the best questions. Imo State, I be so wary. They came to Ishiweko Bwehi to cover the quiz competition things we are running war a lot of things look by that time teachers we are proud to be teachers you will see teachers family of 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 teachers they will be like the family of the kings learned people but i went to africa today i asked my people where is the court high court of issue worker they say we are seeing the thing life on ground that place. I asked them what of the central school he hit. They said that they remain in Dedia now. Hi. I said uh, our field, pothole inside field, nobody is ready to play football again. I said what of the post? I look at that area; it's like desert. And I asked my people, who is ruling the state? They say the so-called culture that said that he has break the legacy of Umbakwe. I said, may the spirit of him state judge two of them. Roger Sokorocha is ruling only one part of old Imo state. During Umbakwe, Abia and Imo, we are one. And if you go to Abia state, Abia state today, even if you go to Aba. They will tell you this gutter you are seeing here was built by Mbakwe. When was that? How many years ago? But the remaining particles of that um, uh, gutters are still there. Part of the roads are still there. But today, Rogers is ruling, is ruling only one part of the entire area that Mbakwe governed during his time. I was in Imo State to see the governor's um, ability and went to Oweri. I saw the so-called over, what they call it, a flyover. They call it flyover that he was developing. Cars can't even cross the flyover because water that dumped that place will, will swallow the whole vehicles. Before your eyes, the construction of the architect of today that are using computer age to develop things before they put it into manifestation cannot be able to develop Imo State. Do you know the worst thing in Imo State is this? 
if you are coming from Abia State, immediately you reach on Imo. They said bye bye from Abia and welcome to Imo State. The type of gallop your vehicle will fall in. You will ask yourself whether you are going to have fire. Close that side. Let's go to LL. If you are coming from Portacot towards LL, entering Imo State, bye bye from River State and welcome to Imo. You will sink and the boys living around will come and draw your car out. And you will start jumping this gallop until you enter your house. Not that you will jump only one side of it. Oh. You will jump that galloping until you reach your door. Every day, I will keep on washing my car. But before I go out and come in, the car will be red from tire to the entire glass. Somebody is ruling that state. And Imo state is now all ye state. It's no longer the Imo state we know before that uh, uh, teachers will be carrying their file or going to work. Or, hey, now there is oil in Imo state. That is why the governor doesn't want to lose that portion where he's sucking the blood of Imo state people. And the, the, the most funniest thing about it is that Imo State went mute. All the graduates, all the lawyers, all the educated professors, where are they? Even the most, the most courage man, Uchubuago, Uchubuago left this guy's office. Uchubuago composed a very powerful song. He said, the type of hatred that is in you, the bitterness of hatred, that you doesn't even want to put one cover in your state. Where is those money? What are you doing with those billions of allocations? Or have Imo state people try to ask their governor where is the budget of the state does Imo state have something they call budget because every year there must surely be budget where people will know this is what is coming in this is what is going out do you know Imo state let me tell you the money that Roger Sokorocha borrowed will take Imo state up to 98 years to, re, to pay out that money. Ask yourself, how much is that in dollars? And please, can you point hand in any part of Imo State to show me where that money was invested for the people? This same Rogers that is bringing his in-law to become your governor, that is the governor that has an arrangement with um chinese people to come and develop our agriculture sector in imo state what a wonderful idea and a wonderful move i love that but ask me where did i get the information that rogers was having a very powerful nice idea nice dream for his people unfortunately on facebook or youtube i fall into awosa um, um, I was a um, um, television station. I saw Rogers Okorocha guaranteeing interview to Hawasa speaking television station. On those places, it's where you will see that our governor, Rogers, we are speaking in Hawasa language, telling the most state people in Hawasa television, in Hawasa language, in northern Nigeria, outside the most state, telling the most state people the plan he has for them. <laughs> Even if some people that understand that was that translated that video, that tell me that he wants to bring Chinese to come and develop the agriculture sector of Imo State. You leave radio IBC or where? You leave uh, NTA Nigeria that Imo State are watching. You leave everything that will give Igbo man the room 
to listen to their governor. You went to the north and speaking it in Hausa language. We are no woman being from the state where you came from will understand what you are saying. And that video did not emerge openly. I am the person that published that video for the first day. And today, he brought in his in-law and Olimo State adopted his in-law to become the next governor of Imo State. Oh, I'm beginning to ask myself, it is time the men of Imo State should stand up to prove that they are man enough to defend their state or we will hand the power of Imo State back to woman. If men doesn't have blockers, woman carry two breasts. She may challenge Okorocha. Because he had the above Ofuge Merere. That is normal. And I will use this opportunity to call or low sanitarian zone of Imo State. If you love your state, if you love all that you are seeing in other parts of Nigeria, they call development. Why don't you use their political position that you are holding in Imo State to put in a legal, nice person that will develop and care for the ordinary citizens of Imo State? Okigwe Zone has no power, or should I call them Bisa no worry, they have no power. But the most power is Roger Sokorocha, all his hope is he will secure all of and he will share the voters of other people. That is the that, that has been the strategy of Roger Sokorocha. So we should open our mouth to ask our low zone. Do you want our freedom do you want our growth do you want our development do you want the oil they are sucking from um, um Mjaba to reach all that part of Imo state the resources the money that is coming out of that oil for us to use it to put our state back to normal look we are not doing it for any other person we are doing it for ourselves people will travel to africa travel to Imo state and they will be hiding why are you hiding? Because jobless guys may see you, even though it's 50,000 they get out of you, can save their life. It will make them to go after you. At least, if we use those money to develop in state, our boys they are killing in Lagos, in the name of Yahoo Yahoo, will not be able to leave in state. They will stay in Imo state and enjoy their state. They won't even know where they are calling Lagos. We can do it. We have been the heartbeat of Eastern region, Imo State. We have been the, the, the machine of the so-called Biafra, right from the one. We are whom we are. Why should we allow somebody like Rogers to break all our foot and legs? Let us make change. Let us say enough is enough. Even though the man that the, the man from Njaba that sponsored the um, political elites to adopt the Rogers or Korochas in law, he said instead of this guy will not win, he will spend all the money in his position. What you will ask yourself, do you think that these politicians are naive enough? To spend their, their personal money on you. What they are planning to spend is also your money. The money they are supposed to use to develop the state. They are banking those money. To use it to buy their way out. When that time comes. Are you ready as an Imo state citizen. To stand up to vote for the real person. The real person that will bring change. I just get an information that for you to contest for governorship, to get a ticket is 5 million naira. I said, wow, 5 million naira. 
But if Imo State people want to be free, I am not afraid of any damn fucking shit human being. I may offer 5 million naira to come out for Imo State governorship because I believe in one thing, one thing only. One language that Germans normally says, that, that word always knock my brain. The Germans always says that you can never cure any acute disease from outside. You must get in and inject that cure, that medicine on that virus direct so that that thing will kill him. So I have researched. Check the best way to treat the mistake, to bring the proud of the state back. The only way to do it is to get involved. So I'm using this opportunity to plead to every Imo State freedom fighter. If you have future, if you have children, if you are dreaming big, let us use what we have to design ourselves. This vehicle that I put here, do you know when, when this vehicle was designed? They say that during the Second World War, <laughs> Hitler was fighting and fighting, but his most setback is mountains. All the vehicles that Ford, by that time Ford was in partnership with Hitler. You may accept it or you leave it, but it's true, it's fact. Ford and, uh, and IBM, they are working with Hitler. Ford, all the whole vehicle Ford was developing could not break the heels. And Hitler called his scientist and said, we need to break the backbone of the mountains. You see that? He said, peace and love. He said, we need to break the backbones of the hills and mountains. So go back to the drawing board and draw the vehicle that no hill no mountain with block no stop and they went in and developed the first waging of today if you look the sign at the front is the sign of no war you know people that are against war because this vehicle represents second world war this is the first waging that break the backbone of every blocking stone to hitler by that time before the Americans get involved and Russians, you know. <laughs> but all the European countries were pressed to their knees by this first waging. And I, will, I still believe that we still have engineers like the engineers of those days that will back me and configure me as the first waging of those days to break the backbones and the mountain of the corruption in Nigeria to emerge as the governor of that state. I am nobody. But when I get in, when I get in, you will say, wow, do we still have such amount of money to develop our area? They have borrowed as, 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 as many as they can. They have done their worst. But Obama says, he said, drop the ideology of colonization because when you carry the they colonized us uh, they colonize it will keep on weighing you down he said drop it leave them with their corruption and all they have done focus focus my man focus because our people normally says the people, the military that ruled Nigeria before, the civilians of today thought that the world is already finished. But the civilians came in and said that Nigerian wells are, or wealth are still like crude oil, unrefined. Yet. So I still believe to develop my state is still 
there are still very big potential. Now they have found gas. Now they have found oil in Imo State. And we still have um, salt and a lot of things. Creating jobs, these guys are not ready to create jobs. The governors of our states are not ready. Or they don't care or they don't know. But one of them, one thing must be happening. Because all the resources we have under our own earth in that emo state. And the law gives us the power as a state to develop it, mine it to develop ourselves. Why are they not investing in those sectors? What is setting them back? Is it a big job? But that job will create jobs for our youths. The graduates from Imo State, there are millions. All of them will find their positions. Because a lot of things got to be produced. Imagine where Imo State will be packaging their own salt and selling in the whole Africa. Even only Nigeria consuming our salt, we are more, it's more than enough. And if we trespass Nigeria and move to other African countries, we are large. In terms of power, electricity, forget that one. Only the dustbin in Imo State, I will use it and, and generate light without going off for 24 good years. The dustbins in Imo State. I went around, I moved around, I see the, they are burning dustbins, they are, they are gassing themselves in the name of I don't know. Those things you are destroying is the energy. It, those money they borrow that will cost us up to 100 years to pay back. If they use it to invest in waste to energy. I didn't say go and build a nuclear plant or whatever. Build waste to energy. At least that waste to energy will help us to clean our environment. Because people are dying today. Many of them are diseased. Many of them are hunger. But if we be able to clean up our state, we will be able to differentiate the people that hunger are killing and the people that are diseased are killing. My people, my people, I have said it all. And I still have enough that we can do for most state people. Because I believe if we develop waste to energy, that waste to energy will draw a lot of companies back to Imo state. Our Nintel will start working. Our Nintel, not Nigeria Nintel, our Nintel. We can do it, mount our satellite and everything. Our satellite is already out there. All we need is reactivate our Nintel. Our Nintel will start subscribing people's uh, selling and uh, cell phones, or we we'll call it cellulars, to customers. We will be making money. Our Nintel will be selling landline to the people. Our energy sector will draw a lot of companies back to Imo State. They will create jobs. Our roads, the waste, the, we, if you are burning the waste, the waste to energy, the waste that are coming out is what we will use to subsidize the, the, the um, um, quota that they are using to build roads. We will be able to have cheaper product to build our roads. Yes. We will use what we have to develop ourselves. But these guys don't love to invest in the state they claim that they love. Or they don't know how to do it. I am living in German. My former company, the what we are doing is waste to energy. From there, I know about waste to energy. From there, I know that every city in German, every city, I didn't say state, let me use local government. Every local government will have up to, if I'm not mistaken, 15 ways to energy. And all these 15, nobody, they won't go to the sleep. Oh. All of them are running 247. Those beans are coming from left and right. And still, German are still exporting. And when we brought, in, when we start producing this thing, when companies came in, enough the thing will still pop up. We will keep on producing. And we will keep on enlarging. Before you know it, light will be even a lot of Nigerians will run to Imo State. Because they will tell you that place now they are light there this time around. 
And we will be able to sell our energy to other states for them to have light too, if we want. I even tell the most state people, this money we are using to develop this thing is lending. We are lending it to you. And after lending it, because if you want to develop something, I don't want to go into details how they do it so that these politicians will not use it to go and do politics tomorrow. But I'm telling you, I can do it. I know how to how it works. I know the general managers. I know the people that does it, that build it from Jama. And I don't want to say it. <laughs> that word remains secret. That I, let, let's leave that aside. But I can do those things. And I will show my people how the mine sort. You know, in the world, Germans are number one sort miners. Germans are the number one salt miners in the world. They are still here. Most of them, the job is too much that most of the companies doesn't know what to do. They are renting something to do to keep their company going. I will tell them there is a mining place where they need you. You will only come with your equipment, general manager, and... Uh, Field one or two, three field workers. The other field workers will come from Imo State. Yes, that is how they do it. Not building a refinery in Lagos and telling the Lagosians or telling the Nigerians that we don't have the, the quality of people that will work in the refinery. That means you will go and take Indonesia people. Why Nigeria, 200 million people, doesn't have jobs? What a shameful government. And you have this thing into plan. You did not start in time to train your people. That to tell you they don't care about you. They only care about the blood that is running in your vein. But I am about to change it. If I become in most state governor tomorrow, I will do undo. I will do it in a way that our people will be proud of their state. Be proud of where they came from. I will not tell you something that I cannot do. The ones I can do, and the remaining ones, will do itself. Yes. Because if light is there, there will be good pump water. Because the light that will generate the machine that will purify the water and send it to the people will be running 247. That means there will be good pump water, there will be 100% electricity. And there will be road to every village. I said, every village from state to village and i will develop what we call rail local railways around my city here now one day i will do video i will go outside and show you every corner has railway that railway is local railway not big train it's small train that run from city to city from call it community to community from community to community it will come from this community that one will come from another community thus you create as far as there is electricity those things will be running 247 if it doesn't want to beat rail there are ways germans do it with buses but the bus will be using electricity to not be burning diesel to gas the people it will be using electricity and battery and be running from city to city, community to community. You will see that a farmer in any village will be able to finish his farming, and in the next three, four hours, your goose is in the way the capital market. You will be able to sell it there in the next 15 minutes. And in the next 10 minutes, you are back to your village without any headache, without any conjunction, without being afraid of motor accident is normal they can do it they does it oyibo knows that this world is difficult that's why they keep on generating building machines to help human beings to live longer in german you will find people their age lifespan here they may tell you it's 80 years it's more than 80 years imagine in German, for people to go to, uh, go, um, 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 what they call it um, in English, um, um, retirement, 
is 75 years old, you will work to 75 years before you go to retirement. If people will work up to 70 or 75, then think their lifespan. What makes their lifespan to be more greater is those machines help to do things easier for the human being. And then come their health department, health insurance. I've been living in Germany for years. I don't pay for my tablet. I do pay for buying drugs. But it's nothing. If you check the receipt, you will see the original price and see the money that the insurance will take over. And you will just pay like 0.5% of the total sum. You are not paying anything. But seeing a doctor is 100% free. Not that it's free that he doesn't pay everything. I am working. At the end of the month, the insurance will, they will take their charges so that even though I go to hospital 100 times in a month, it's none of their business. You know, they took that small money and everything is free. You organize. Look, the JAMA system runs like human being organ. So if we will be able to establish ourselves, it's not something that we will do under one day. Gradually, if I become governor, before anything, I will make sure that I develop three, four, five ways to energy plant. Because that plant will help me to power the states and things will start moving gradually. Before you know it, I will expand. And this waste to energy expansion, people will pick the dirty on the street, people will transport it, people will flood it, people will um, sort it, people will burn it, people will do it. You will see that it will create millions of jobs. There are ways of creating jobs. There are things to do. A lot that will help us. And our people, their lifespan will increase. The youths will have job to do. Those doing agriculture back home will be proud because the dustbin that is coming out, coming out of waste to energy works like fertilizer. Many do buy it to grow their crops. That means most of you will be taking the fertilizers, maybe the state will be subsiding, uh, what they call it, uh, sharing the, the waste to the uh, farmers so that they will be able to grow crops. They call it organic um, 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 uh, fertilizer, not a uh, chemical fertilizer that does harm people. So these things are things we can be able to do. Stick with me. Five million naira is nothing. We can do it. But I don't have money to do campaign. No. Yes, so make you know, say, make I give him money for campaign. Because if I borrow money to do campaign, if I entered into power, I will first of all fight to pay back those money being borrowed. And then before the little one that I meant to do this, maybe I will use them pay teachers and you won't see any effect. So reject bribery, reject money bags, and allow us to do things for ourselves. God bless you, remain blessed, and we shall see us anytime soon. And remain blessed. Bye-bye for now.